In this video, we will review how easy it is to operate, remove, and install the high-quality Hoppe HLS 9000 multipoint lock set usually supplied by quality conscious door manufacturers. First, be certain that you are in fact working with the famous Hoppe HLS 9000 multipoint lock. You can be certain if you see the trademarked symbol on the side of the high-quality stainless steel lock and back plates of the handle sets. Next, you will need the following tools. A Phillips head screwdriver, the proper sized hex wrench for the handle set screws, or the quick fit release tool originally provided with your hardware. Once you've identified the product, remember to only work with the door in the open, unlocked position and be certain not to close the door until you've tested the operation. Let's start with the proper operation of the door. With the door in the open position, depress and hold in the mishandling device located here on the door edge while you lift the inside handle. In some cases, the installer may not have removed the shipping clip that was installed when the product was originally assembled. If this black plastic piece is still in place, remove and discard it. Make sure that the mishandling device bevel matches that of the latch. If it does not, you can see how easily it can be reversed. Lifting the handle at this point will initiate the additional locking points that help improve the engagement and weather sealing capabilities of your door. By turning the thumb turn at this point, you will add yet another locking point for security. Please remember that the mishandling device must be depressed in order to lift the handle. This is done so that a guest doesn't accidentally extend the locking points when the door is in the open position and then close your door, potentially damaging the door's trim. Also, be aware that the handle must be lifted and the additional locking points must be initiated to ensure proper engagement and weather sealing before fully locking the door with a thumb turn. After all, what's the sense of having a multi-point locking system without using their sealing and security features? The additional locking points may consist of one or more of the following configurations. This is the latch and the deadbolt. This is an example of a tongue locking point. Notice that it is tapered to help pull your door into the weather seal. This is a swing hook. It too has a taper to improve the weather sealing capabilities of your door. This is a round bolt. The tip of this is tapered as well. This is a roller and it can be adjusted with a 4 mm hex wrench to improve the weather sealing of your door. This is a chute bolt and it extends from the top and bottom edge of the door. Notice its taper. In almost all cases, removing the lock from the door, for example to paint the door, is accomplished in a very similar manner. To remove the Hoppe HLS 9000 multipoint lock, you must first remove the Hoppe Euro Profile Cylinder and the Hoppe HLS 9000 handle set as shown in previous videos. Once these have been removed, your door will look like this and you are ready to begin. First, examine the face plate of the lock above the latch. The lock is generally supplied as either a two-piece or three-piece configuration. Starting at the top of the door, look for a seam at right angles to the length of the door or a cover plate. If there is no seam, you probably have a two-piece system. If you do have a seam, you probably have a three-piece system. In both cases, starting at the top edge of the door, begin removing the Phillips head mounting screws. They should all be approximately the same size. Once you get down to the latch, stop removing screws. Note that the last screw is a machine screw and this should be removed and retained separately. At this point, begin removing the top extension, starting at the top edge of the door. As you get close to the latch, be certain to observe how the drive rail on the top extension engages the lock case mechanism, since you'll need to engage this mechanism in the same fashion when you reinstall the lock. When the top extension is removed, your door will look something like this. The bottom extension and lock case are one piece. Begin removing the Phillips head mounting screws from the bottom edge of the door 
stopping when you reach the tri-wing screw. Now, beginning with the lock case, gently ease out the lock case and the balance of the lower extension. Installing the HAPE HLS 9000 lock set is basically a reverse of the procedures just covered. Starting with the lock case and lower extension, gently insert the assembly into the prepared door, ensuring that the faceplate fully seats in the preparation and is flush with the door edge. On a bevel door, it would sit flush with the lowest edge. Now, beginning with the mounting hole below the cylinder screw hole and the tri-wing screw still in place, begin securing the lower extension with the stainless steel Phillips head mounting screws that you removed earlier. Now, install the top extension beginning just above the latch. It's critical to the top extension's operation that you make sure to properly engage the upper drive rail at this point. The smaller Phillips head machine screw is designed to hold this assembly together in a properly prepared door edge. After this screw is installed, begin with the mounting hole closest to this screw and begin replacing the stainless steel Phillips head mounting screws all the way out to the edge of the door. Now it's time to reinstall the HAPE HLS 9000 handle sets as shown in the previous video. Now that the lock is completely installed, let's make sure everything is working. With the door in the open position, test the operation of the lock. Depress and hold the mishandling device on the door edge while you lift the handle. Lifting the handle at this point should engage the additional locking points. Congratulations, you've successfully removed and reinstalled your HAPE HLS 9000 multipoint lock. For further support and information, explore our website at www.us.hape.com.